nine kilos of robot they're shoving around. Worrying then as to why they should take and they can surf right and then the floor flipper. But while Storm 2 may be the most technically advanced robot in the competition, when faced with brute force, will it be enough? We're Team Storm from Ipswich. My name's Ed, I'm the team captain of Team Storm. Tim looks after the driving. Meryl looks after team morale and she helps us with all the artwork and making sure the robot looks ready and pristine to go in the arena. I'm an IT consultant, um, I work for a software company. Tim works for a telecommunications company. I mean, Meryl also works for the same company. She works for them as a project manager. We're not engineers, so there aren't huge numbers of skills that we can, we can transfer over. So what we have done is tried to bring the skills that we do have, which is around project management, around how you get things done and how you build a plan to achieve things. We all work together as one big happy family and we get on incredibly well. We complement each other well. Um, I can be impulsive, Tim can be level-headed, so that the balance is really good. We're confident we're going to do well. Jonathan. Storm 2, the most expensive robot in the competition, at over £25,000, immediately driving on to eruption. Storm 2, the quicker of the robot, but caught by Sir Killalot onto the flame pits. They don't want to test the lithium polymer battery there for heat getting it away. Eruption tries to flip. Storm 2 has the four flipper bars. They can flip in 0.3 seconds. So swift can be the deadly killer blow. They're in underneath eruption now. That's 109 kilos of robot they're shoving around. They can flip Storm 2 10 foot in the air if they get a chance. Michael Oates, the young driver, just 17 years of age. He's been a Robot Wars devotee since he was two, but he needs to do something now, and he does! Eruption, flip, flop, fly! And thrilling us all by self-writing. Look at the Sremac. Boing! Up it comes again. <laughs> That's brilliant stuff. And on to the tyre, and that releases the pit. That was the alarm you could hear. Pit, pit, pit. This is a really good contest. Oh, that's dangerous. Into Sakilalot's pincers. You really didn't want to do that. Get away from there. Sakilalot, not the most mobile, not the prettiest. Don't tell him I said that. Eruption away now from Storm 2. Trying to get in underneath again. Eruption, no, they need to work on their flipper accuracy. And they ooh, just left themselves open there to a potential flip by Storm 2, who are worried that their motors might overheat. That was a problem when they tested the robot. Oh, over it goes. That's a tremendous feat pulled off by Eruption. Explosive power of Eruption. Can they do it again? Nearly caught Storm 2 side on. Storm 2 with enough power to pull a minibus load. It was school children, and you can see the power. And they've got Eruption wedged between a rock and a hard place. Riding piggyback on Storm 2, will come for another drive now. They're counting down the audience. The judges will have hard work to separate these. That's the closest contest we've had so far. Not a lot of action out of Storm 2 late on. The judges will mark on style, damage and aggression. Good aggression from Eruption. Storm 2 flung through the air, but then getting in underneath. That's a controlled drive. Judges will mark them highly on that, but not on this. Flipped once again by Eruption. Let's talk to you guys first. Were you happy? Really happy. Start of the fight was going really well. We got underneath them all the time. Our scoop is precision milled mm -hmm. to be on the floor in here. My aim was to try and get them towards one of the house robot corners and then okay. try and flip them. Okay. But most of the time, had them on top and just rode them into a corner and it was to a house robot when I got there. So okay. it was strategic. So from strategic. no flipping, but tactically, strategic, yeah. you had lots of flipping. Yeah. If I was judging it, I'd have said that they had it for two minutes. It was mm -hmm. close, but I'd have given it to them. But then the last minute, we came back with a good few flips, so I think it's going to be really... And lots of aggression as well. lots of aggression, yeah. So it's going to be really difficult. Yeah. It's going to be, yeah, like I said, close. it's going to be really close. I have the results. The team that scored two points and the win is Storm 2. Yes! Oh, yes.
It was a split decision from the judges, and that was a battle that was hard to call. Till about 20 seconds to go, Storm 2 was leading comfortably, and then last minute there was some action from Eruption's flippers, and I think that made a huge difference. But in the end, we feel the right team won. It wasn't even until Storm stopped at the end. It was immobile at the end of the fight, and we thought that might swing it for us, but clearly not. Yeah, it's a bit too close to the end, I think. If we'd got another flip in, I think we might have yeah. had it. Oh, well, that was a really tight decision, oh. wasn't it? I didn't know which way it was going to go. They came back strongly at us, but I'm relieved, I guess. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to call that because that was quite, it was quite close. close. It really but, was close uh... at the end there. Following the judges' decision, Apollo are on three points, Storm 2 are on two, and Eruption and PP3D are level on no points. We're going to go in in exactly the same configuration that we went in for our last fight, uh, because that was also against the flipper. So we're going to use, uh, we've got uh, multiple weapons, but we're going to stick with this front-firing flipper and self-writer, because it's so important with Storm 2 to keep the front of the robot flush to the ground. And if Apollo turn us over, it means we've got no way of getting back underneath them again. Storm 2 will try and get this over and done with it as quick as they can. Apollo, we know, has sustained damage throughout this heat of one kind or another. Storm 2 with the FFF, the front floor flipper and the Sremek. Worrying then as to why they should say if Apollo flipped then they'd be in trouble. And they can self right and then the floor flipper. Really strong throw through the air. Storm 2. Good maneuverability, yes, they're being pushed by Apollo, but they're also dodging away and self-writing there, and again. So that sort of diminished the power of the Apollo flip. Oh, not there, though, goodness me. But immediately self-writing. And then flipping Apollo, that's good work by Storm 2. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I might have lost the chain again. Oh, I think Apollo are in trouble here. I think the chain's gone again. The pit released, and they're in trouble here. In the pit, in the pit. Apollo drives into the CP. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Dead metal venting its spleen and steam. And why not? Goodness me! <laughs> Matilda broods. Oh, Matilda, you're not allowed to come out and look for revenge. You know, no, 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 no. Oh, what, going, Matilda coming in for the kiss of life. Ooh, yeah. Now, Apollo flips Storm 2 and goes to flip again. Matilda, what is she doing? Oh, dear, Matilda nudging a teammate back into life, it would seem, or maybe towards the pit, surely not cannibalistic. How was Roblox? Apollo, meanwhile, is trying to think to stay away from any damage Storm 2 can cause and pushed on to Matilda. Were they going to flip Matilda? I think they were. I think they got too confident there. Ah, oh, they've done it! A KO blow for the second time. They've taken just about everyone out. I've never, ever seen it before. Not in a single battle. Oh, goodness me, and Apollo. Flip is too broken. confident by half the anyone in the pit. Storm too canny. They played possum. They played dead. But look at this, suddenly it's Apollo showboating in oh, no, trouble. Hold on, hold on. Christian, we have a problem with Apollo. Storm 2 is being encouraged by the crowd to get them in the pit, and they're going in the pit. Who knows? Oh. Very nearly saw, saw This is a Robot Wars classic. An absolute belter. Cease called. Oh, that was memorable. It'll go to the judges, and if Apollo get it, they're through. Wow. <laughs> that was an epic fight. Not content with taking on one opponent, you destroyed two house robots in the yeah, process. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> what, just for kicks? We, we were defending ourselves. We were in the corner. We could see Matilda's disc. You were not. <laughs> you went in. You went in and literally turfed dead metal upside well, the down. the flipper was working on full power for the first time. We wanted to show the audience what he can do. Well, listen, I think they get it. Do you get it? <laughs> Storm 2, are you happy with how the fight went? It was a good fight. We were getting underneath them at the start, then they managed yeah. to get a good flip on us. It was all over the place. We got a couple of times nearly in the pit. I mean, it was so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what a fight for us. Thank you, guys. Brilliant. It was a judge's decision. Okay. 
I can tell you that it was a unanimous decision. And the win and the two points go to... Apollo! Yes! <laughs> well done, well done well, guys. Well done to Apollo, that's two points. And two dead house robots. <laughs> this was a unanimous decision. Apollo won quite clearly. It did all the flipping. It was the most aggressive robot in there. It wasn't a lot of damage, but its control was superb. I thought one of the most incredible things with that bike was that the way Apollo turned on the house robots didn't need to. It wasn't going to get any extra points, but flipping two bots like that, I've never seen anything like that before. Fantastic. We're up against PP3D next, so we put our four bar lifting mechanism on top. Uh, we've measured them, and if we can turn them upside down, because we're so low and they're relatively tall, their disc just spins above the height of our robot, so that will be our plan. So here it is, the deciding head-to-head -head between PP3D and Storm 2, and it is absolutely all to play for. Over to you, Jonathan. <laughs> Storm 2 goes straight onto the attack on PP3D. Trying to get them over so that they'll negate the power of the PP3D blade. Moving away, PP3D can see the power of the blade if they get it up to speed. Storm will try and stop them getting up to speed and slamming it onto the blade there of Shunt. And crinkling the blade of Shunt. Look at the bottom of it. Oh, but there's an awful sound coming out of PP3D now. Shake, rattle, and not exactly rock and roll. Sounds like an old steam engine of PP3D, they're trying to get it up to spinning speed. And they push Storm 2 onto the floor spike. Storm 2 need to get off there. Good smash onto PP3D. Press the pit, press the pit. Press the pit, press the pit. They're on the pit. Oh, they're down the pit. Storm 2 realised what was going on. And they celebrate. Innovative design on PP3D. It's a shame they've gone in many ways, but that spinning disc kept hitting the floor and damaging itself. Storm 2 with a drive onto Shunt's blade. There's the damage caused by the, the disc, but the motor immobilised. Doom, gloom, pit out. Goodbye. Oh, that was over far too quickly. Far too no, quickly. No, no. Congratulations, Thank you. Storm Thank you very 2. Much. Well done, Storm 2, ladies and gentlemen. Did you feel in any way guilty and you slowly walked over to drop them down the pit? Not really. We spotted they were immobilised on there and I just tapped, literally went, just press the pit button. Yeah. <laughs> and what a place to lose control on the pit. Ah, oh, I know, but, uh, well, it happens, doesn't it? Well, commiserations. PP3D, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> PP3D. <laughs> fought the good fight. But, of course, in the final, it'll be a rematch with Apollo. Yes. Revenge. You think so? Yeah, think revenge so? for us, and I think the house robots have a score to settle with. Because it was, quite, it was quite the highlight, that particular battle, you know? It was, it was fantastic. Kind of, yeah. So if we get something of that quality, that'll be very good. Well done, Storm 2. <laughs> Matilda and the house robots have a grudge against Apollo. Off we go for a place in the grand final. Apollo and Storm 2, all nervous here, look, feeling each other out. Apollo just trying to get the lifting mechanism, and Storm 2 driving in underneath. This is what they did when they met earlier on and into the CPZ and this is where maybe Shunt can get revenge, no! Again, a house robot has been flipped for the third time in the night. Apollo flips a house robot, over goes Shunt. All topsy-turvy in the Shunt world now. Dancing a dizzy jig in that corner. But no extra points for Apollo for that, don't forget. Storm 2 has the... I think more significant drive. If they can push Apollo towards a pit, they can have a chance. They're certainly getting in underneath again, under that front ground clearance of Apollo when they can nudge it up into the air. The control and aggression is from Storm 2, but the damage was from Apollo with the flip. Powerful surge. The supply of gas well used there. They know they have to be sensible with it. And in the previous fight, that sort of flip caused damage to Storm 2. No house robot in the CPZ! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Storm 2 flying through the air. And now Apollo shaping up to have another ram. 
And meanwhile, Matilda's on the warpath. Matilda, get out of the way. But she can cross into a CPZ if the competitors go in there. And once again, oh, she's now self righted her compatriot. Big blow on the Storm 2. And another one out! Yes! Apollo! Yes, yes! Storm 2, over and out, Houston Control. <laughs> what a robot, what a heat. Apollo deserve winners through to the grand final. Storm 2 did so well with a nudge and a smudge of hope. Oh, Apollo's got some front. Some courage to take on the house robots and look at that, Storm 2, just tossed through the air, spinning like a dice. Your luck is out, so are you. Storm 2, fine finalists, you've, you've done very well. Although maybe a defensive robot more than anything else, very low, very compact, and you probably need to go into the attack a bit more, really. It is particularly painful to watch your robot be flipped out of the arena. No. There are far worse ways, I for, believe you're lying. Far worse ways uh, for a robot to fail than leaving the arena. There's, there's got to be it something about... it whole and not in a bin bag. OK, fine. That's OK, Grant. OK, that is. But in a more correct way, it's also a loss. So... <laughs> Everybody, it's Apollo! <laughs> I mean, that is how to win a final exam. Yeah, well, it's the first time the robot has fully worked. Every time we've gone into a fight, we've lost a wheel or the entire drive. So that shows when it works 100%, we can take on anyone. The main thing was just to, to make sure we're entertaining. That's what we do. So when we came into this, every match, we don't want to be boring. We want to do the best we can, and, and hopefully everyone's had a good time I mean, watching. That is the way to do it. You are through to the grand final. That's all from us tonight on Robot Wars. Good night. <laughs>